Okay, so in this final video, we're looking for all three, direct objects, indirect objects, and objective complements. So let's go ahead and begin here. Um, I is the subject, find is the verb, these stories is our direct object, it's the thing that I'm finding, and how do I find these stories? I find them fascinating. So we'll circle fascinating because it is our OC. It explains how the verb finding was done to the stories. How do I find the stories? Fascinating. Number two, uh, she is our subject, told is our verb, me, one. And then we have to ignore the prepositional phrase that comes after it. The thing that she actually told is the word one, so one is our direct object, and me is our indirect object, so I'll double underline it. Three, she is our uh, subject, called is our verb, uh, the small creature, this is what the thing that she called, this is our direct object, and dangerous ex tells us how she called the creature. So this is our objective complement, so we'll circle it. Number four, the poison, it's our subject, from a tiny blue ringed octopus, that's a prepositional phrase, so you should get rid of it, could kill, there's our verb, a person, there's our direct object. It's the person, it's the thing that receives the killing from the poison. The poison could kill a person. Number five, my mom, subject, gave, verb, me, a book. And then we have to ignore this prepositional phrase. Ignore it. The thing that my mom actually gave is the book. So the book is the direct object. The person who benefits, who's indirectly involved, is me. I'm the indirect object. Number six. Some, hunting, some hummingbirds, there is our uh, subject. Beat, there's our verbs. Um, their wings... Here's our direct object, 80 times a second. This is um, our objective complement. It tells us how they beat their wings. It comes in after the direct object, and it describes it by explaining how the verb is done to it. How do the hummingbirds beat their wings, 80 times a second? Number seven, uh, a 4,000 pound hippopotamus, here's our subject, can outrun Here's our verb, a human. Um, here's the person being outrun. This is our direct object. Number eight, a python, subject, ignore in Indonesia, once ate, a python ate, and then this is the receiver of the eating, a 14-year-old boy. This is our direct object. Uh, number nine, scientists, subject, consider verb, the whale shark. This is the thing receiving the consideration. This is our direct object. And then the largest fish in the world, this is what they consider the whale shark. So this is our objective complement. It comes after the direct object and it explains how the action was done to the direct object. How do the scientists consider the shark? And the answer is the largest fish in the world. So that is the objective complement. Number 10, experts, subject, gave, verb, the world's biggest frog, the name, uh, Goliath. Um, so here we have the uh, direct object is the name. That's the thing that they actually gave. Um, they, they actually gave the frog. And then the word frog is our uh, indirect object. Because they didn't give a frog to someone, they gave a name to the frog. So the frog benefits indirectly. All right, go ahead and try to do uh, 11 through 20 on your own, and I'll read off the answers in a moment.